Hello, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers. Welcome back on this platform, BVI channel. One where truth is the gospel we preach. Um, I don't have much to say concerning this video I'm about to bring to you. It's all about Russia Sokorosha's reaction to the arrest or abduction of his son-in-law. He had made some very strong statement. I want you to watch, drop your opinion after that, and I will just highlight a little bit. So, our suspicion was confirmed that the Imo State Governor has backed on such an act of hate and misrepresentation and misinformation concerning members of my family. But shockingly enough, I also had, I had to call the police commissioner of police, uh, who has just recently confirmed to me a few hours ago that the order came from Abuja. So I wondered uh, if this order actually came from the Inspector General of Police. And if it is, I'm sure the Inspector General of Police must have been misinformed. But I'm yet to see what kind of offense Mosu Chengwosu have committed to warrant this uh, discretion of the church and sporadic shootings that has uh, left a lot of people injured. I, and uh, I, I want to, I, I want to request for the first and last time that security agencies, presidency, must look into what is happening in uh, Imo State. This affair has released the government of Imo State and members of my family. This family has gone through a lot insult and humiliations and threat to life from the government of Imo State. But I'm yet to understand what must have informed the kind of level of misinformation that must have led the IG to give such directives. Because the IG I know couldn't direct any policeman to go to church and shoot and arrest innocent citizens. I, I feel that Enough of this is enough. And um, and Hope Uzodima has been in the business of trying to, to 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 get any member of my family or myself involved in, in this kind of his uh, wicked acts of hate hatred. I think enough of this is enough. And I've called all people's concern on this matter. And I hate to make this very public. But I'm being tempted to say the facts as they are. I don't want the police to get involved. I don't want the APC government led by Buhari to get involved in a matter like this that will tarnish the image of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Why should police go to the church to arrest people and arrest individual innocent person? What is the story they have written about him? I want to, I want, I'm waiting to hear the story. I can assure you this will be a political, motivated and cooked up story now. They are going to come up with. This is one arrest too many has led to me and members of my family. There was just no justifiable reason for the police to have gone into the church to carry on such shooting exercise. Even the security attached to my, my family could not because they identified the policeman. Why go to the church? Why should why is the shooting? Why do you have to drag the innocent boy on the floor? Why do I have to beat him up? Why do I have to push my wife? Why do I have to push my daughter? Why do I have to tear, tear their clothes? There was no single arrest warrant on Uche Mwos. Nothing at all. It was like a, a, a kidnap. If not for the fact that we have confirmed that it is police, the initial fear that this was unknown gunmen that has come to kill Uche Mwos. But I don't know. The Uche Mwos I know. I don't, I don't know what story will be fabricated against this young man. The state government is aware of the disgusting, very disgusting utterances that were made today by a former governor of the state, uh, Rocha Okorocha. And uh, it's marks of clear panic 
looks clearly to, to us that he's in a panic, in a frenzy. He's in a panic because it looks like the, 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 the law is gradually closing in on him. Give you money. Give you people money. Yes, I'm not giving me. According to your statement, you say you witnessed when guys on a revolution uh, was yes. came to give you guys money. Yes. Push. Because of the election that uh, 2023. Okay, what is their plan? And which work and work they say you should do for them? According to them, they don't want anybody to maneuver their government. They want to make the government uncomfortable if no one allow them to take over the government in they will make it bloody. That is their plan? Yes, sir. Um, when you are giving a statement uh, uh, last week, you are saying that they even had a plan of uh, scattering the steps you must take to yes, this sir. Christmas period. Yes, sir. What do you have to tell me on that area? If not that I'm the one fighting them, all their plan this Christmas was to make the Christmas uncomfortable for the government of human states. So that is what you have to say? Yes, sir. Okay, do you, do you ever meet with the Rochas or Kurochas before? One no one? No, sir. All the message come through? Who is bringing the message? The, 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 I only get all this through uh, Honorable Casey Lukuju. Okay. Thank you. So you people are working together before. Yes, sir. Before. With uh, uh, Banga. Banga, yes, sir. Well, you are no more with me. I no more with you. But Banga said he kept some AK-47 inside his house. He said that if they can take you there, you know where the AK is. Is it true? I don't know where the AK is, but according to him, he has given me the direction where the AK is in his house. Okay, thank you very much. What about Felix? The police also tell you where? Mm, Felix also explained to me that uh, he found the one taking police to his house, that uh, his own AK is beside his uh, bed. Okay. Okay, this one is continuing. Do you feel that like you already said? The hotel that is uh, beside the uh, East Paddock. He has called them and um, I personally was there that day. He gave them money. Even this uh, Zaza Hotel along World Bank Road by Yaradua Drive, he has drove down to that place several occasions and gave them money cash, which I have witnessed. Okay. You say your boss is uh, General Banga? Yes, sir. No, as cheeky, right? Yes, sir. How, you, according to your, according to your, your explanation, yes. so he gave you how many AK? Can you name how many people he gave AK to? AK for seven, rifle to? He was giving me one AK for seven. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he gave uh, one other guy called Shaba, one AK for seven. He gave uh, one other one called Davido, whose uh, nickname is the Arrow Weather, one AK for seven. And uh, this, uh, his, boy, his late boy called Sanson, he has given him one AK-47. He sold one to one of our boy also called Acid. He sold one to Acid. Okay. Do you also know General Felix? Yes. General Felix, after the amnesty, due to the amnesty, the they called them together. The governor, Rochas Okorocha and Honorable Kinsili Uju and the Honorable Uche Monsu called them together to work for them so that they will no longer be having issue again. That is how Felix Emereji and the, uh, Chike Echiba emerged together how to many, work for them. How many rifles? How many rifles? Do General Felix, popular known as Sherman, have? How many AK for the seven rifles? As at the time we are together, Felix has up to seven AK for seven, which he gave the, one of his boy called uh, Archie Lincoln, whose nickname is Archie. He gave him one. He gave one to 
uh, one of his boys called Vulture. And even this uh, other guy who was a <coughs> former uh, <coughs> counselor at our community called the uh, Honorable Dagi Boy. They are also empowering that one also. That one have some protected <coughs> ammunition also. No, no chance to Korocha. As I then, he had a 9 AK for 7 rifles. But when he was called for amnesty, he gave 3 AK for 7 to government. And the government of uh, Rochas Okoracha was using him for political issues. And uh, also, other political godfather he had, like uh, Honorable Kesiri Uju. Good. This is a battle between him and the current governor of Imo State. Some people are of the opinion that they should fight to finish, especially the most egocentric ones who believe that both of them made themselves stooges in the hands of those who are oppressing Igbo land, and they don't care if they fight themselves to finish. Is that your opinion? Now drop yours on the comment section. Let's have what you have to say about this. And I can tell you, hey, this dance, this could get a dance, eh? where these two people, they dance. The only God knows where it will land in most state. That is all I can bring to you. Drop your comment. Let me have your opinion. As I'm signing out, don't, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. All right? And stay safe this season. Bye-bye.